Although the diagnosis of a brain tumor might seem to be a death sentence, most brain tumors are very treatable. We asked Dr. Christopher Duma, a brain surgeon at Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, about the latest treatments offered there. There are numerous treatments for brain tumors and it depends on the type of tumor. Uh, if we're talking about the tumor that, uh, say, Ted Kennedy had, that is the most malignant tumor that exists in the brain. It's a primary brain tumor that started in the brain. And our treatment options are radiation, chemotherapy, uh, boosts with various forms of uh, gamma knife, for example, uh, and uh, other, other uh, forms of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. Those are some of the more uh, uh, exciting new leads that we have uh, in treating this type of tumor today. Uh, brain metastases, where they come from other parts of the body, like breast cancer and uh, colon cancer, lung cancer, uh, we can take those out surgically very easily. We can also treat those with gamma knife uh, as a primary treatment. Uh, gamma knife is a wonderful alternative to open surgery. We're not opening the skull. We're just uh, treating with focused beams of radiation. So there's a, a whole array of various treatment modalities for these tumors now. Who is most susceptible to brain tumors and are they genetically linked? The majority of brain tumors uh, that we see are, uh, are not genetically linked in any way. They're, they're just bad luck for the patient. Um, if a patient has lung cancer, we know that's linked to smoking and then that tumor may find its way to the bloodstream and find its way to the brain. So there's a link with uh, smoking and brain tumors. Uh, you know, there, there really is no other genetic environment uh, for, the, for, for certain tumors. Uh, there are some genetic uh, uh, traits like neurofibromatosis that will cause a patient to have numerous brain tumors, but those are very few and far between. We asked Dr. Duma, what is a gamma knife and what kind of expert team is involved? The gamma knife is a, a tool that was invented uh, back in, you know, the early uh, 1980s, uh, which has evolved over this time to uh, somewhat of a, a perfect tool to treat brain tumors without opening the head. It uses 193 separate beams of radiation, and each beam comes from a different spot and is focused onto the patient's tumor. And not only can we uh, focus it on the tumor, but we can shape the radiation three-dimensionally around uh, uh, the, the shape of the tumor. So if a tumor is oblong or irregularly shaped, we can literally shape the radiation in three-dimensional space around that tumor. The treatments are usually no more than about 30 minutes. Uh, the average brain tumor that we treat can take only 10 minutes to treat in the gamma knife. And the patient is, uh, it looks much like an MRI machine in the treatment. After 10 minutes, the uh, patient uh, goes to recovery and goes home that, that, that morning. What is the future for brain tumor treatment? The future of brain tumor treatment is going to be uh, targeted therapy, where we take a patient's tumor cells, figure out the antigens on the surface, and develop an antibody toward it, inject that into their bloodstream. The antibody reaches, finds the tumor, and eats it up. That's probably the nearest uh, thing that I can predict will be the future of brain tumor management, and uh, surgery might not ever be needed again.